Alright, so Corvair Wild's having a problem with his turbo junk. <laughs> um, and I had a problem with my truck last week. I was coming home and the cold timing advance never shut off. And uh, it was causing the engine to seem like it was running away. It would, the RPMs wouldn't quite come down. And uh, when it did come down, it was missing terribly. So similar to what his problem is. And all I did was I unplugged uh, the cold timing advance solenoid. Or, uh, well, it should be the cold timing advance. I know it's not a fuel cutoff. Um, and that's the back one on the 7.3. I don't know if the injection pump on the 6.5 is different or not. I've never seen a 6.5 IP, so. Um, but it's the back solenoid on this. The front one here is the fuel cutoff. So this one being the fuel cutoff and this one being the cold timing. And if you flip it over and look, fuel cutoff and cold timing advance. Now that has a little, I don't know if you can see that, a little needle in there. So I would assume that that controls flow through that check valve. Which, uh, let's see, this here. That check valve. <coughs> this particular injection pump uh, has a bad fuel cutoff solenoid, so I didn't work. Um, now I'll plug mine back in and see if it does it again. I forgot to plug my truck in, so this would be a cold start. Uh, first, I gotta plug the uh, controller for it back in, which is uh, just a. Uh, you can't see that at all, but it's a little uh, temperature switch down here. It's kind of like a for the temperature gauge, essentially. that thing back in if I can get my fingers down there to do it. I don't know if that's plugged in or not. I'll find out if the uh, cold axle advance doesn't come on. We know that it's not plugged in. Plug that back in. Wait to start. I'm going to cycle them twice. I still haven't fixed the glow plug relay or controller. Need to just rig it to a push button. Too lazy. <laughs> Come on. down, just barely tapping it.
pressing it any further, it's doing that by itself. Which is working now, but yeah, see the uh, temperature switch decided to work this time, and it's warmed up enough to shut off. Plug didn't work. I knocked the wire off. No wonder one cylinder was missing. When I first started it, that's where the smoke came from. Anyways, there you go. Hope that helps Corvair Wild. 